Welcome to this pregnancy yoga flow that is simply designed to help you feel good. So when I designed this particular class, I had the second trimester in mind, but that's only because the second trimester is when I personally enjoyed being pregnant the most. You can absolutely practice this class if you're in the first trimester and you've been practicing yoga before, or if you're in the third trimester and are still feeling really good. My intention with this class is simply to help you get into your body, to stretch out some of those aches and pains and help you to connect with the baby that grows within you. I personally have practiced and taught throughout all three of my pregnancies and yoga is the thing that I turn to time and time again when my body doesn't feel good, when I feel stressed, when I feel overwhelmed, when I just need to emotionally release whatever is going on in my body. I also wanna let you know this video is one in a three part series and you'll find the other two classes in this series in my online yoga circle, which is my online yoga community for mothers and I'll leave all those links for you down below. Righto, let's get onto our mat. So take the knees nice and wide here. Just wanna bring the hands to the belly. So holding your baby in your hands. Notice the spine lifting nice and tall as you lift the crown of the head up. Breathing into that belly as imagining the belly is filling up like a balloon. It may already feel a bit like a balloon, but just imagining that belly expanding with the breath. And then softening with the exhale. So you may be feeling a little tight in the belly, maybe a little sore. So really using that exhale to soften this space. So inhaling, feel the belly expanding and then exhaling and softening. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. Perhaps imagining your baby within this space, sending that beautiful, fresh breath and energy around them. And then as you exhale and let the belly soften, imagine this calming sensation coming over your baby as well. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Come into tabletop now. So bring the hands forward underneath the shoulders. I just want you to let your belly hang. This can feel quite nice at the end of a long day on the low back. And we're just going to do some really simple pelvic tilts. So You'll notice I can tilt my pelvis up so that the tailbone is sticking towards the sky or I can just tuck the tailbone under. So if you've got any low back pain, I just want you to hold this straight back position, but if it feels good to do so, just really gentle pelvic tilts here. Good. And then I want you to rock from side to side. So one of the good things that I think yoga brings when you're pregnant is it starts getting you used to positions that you might eventually birth in, getting really comfortable moving in your body, which in any other area of our life, we probably don't do this very much, do we? <laughs> so just getting used to and comfortable moving in a way that feels good in our body because you're going to need this during birth. Try and turn off that part of the brain that maybe says this feels a little silly. Just be in the body. Nothing else matters. Good. Then we're going to tuck the toes under and walk our way back. We're coming into our low squat. So feel free to adjust the feet as much as you need. We come up onto the balls of the feet. Now your heels may also touch, they may not like mine. Keep the fingertips grounded and just find some length through the spine. So I've got a nice straight back. Pelvic floor is nice and open here. I want you to breathe in. And breathe out. Let the belly be nice and soft. Enjoy any stretching through the inner thighs that this pose is creating for you. 
and then maybe come to rock side to side if that feels nice. Leave the fingertips of the right hand grounded. Press the left hand in and just open up to the left side. So getting a little bit of a twist here. If you want to go a little further, you could take the left arm up to the sky. If that feels good in your body. Good, and then lower the left hand down. Fingertips to the ground, right hand into the right thigh, gently pressing, looking over the right shoulder. And then take the right arm up to the sky. Good, release the hands down. I'm going to come up into our forward fold now. So just take your time straightening up the legs. You'll notice my feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. You're welcome to bring them underneath the hips if that feels better. Keep a little bend through the knees so that the upper body can just hang. Maybe gently rock from side to side, shifting the weight. And just keep a little bit of an awareness pressing down through the heels to lengthen out through the back of the legs. Let's nod the head, yes. Gently shake the head, no. Good. Leave the right hand on the ground, straighten the legs up. So right hand is underneath the chest and then left arm reaches up. If you need to, you can bend that right knee to make a bit of space. Good. Just breathing here. slowly come back down let yourself have a little rest at the bottom left hand to ground right hand rises feel free to bend into left knee to make this possible check that your head and neck is comfortable sometimes when we're in these poses we forget about our neck feel free to move the head until it's comfortable Right hand comes back down and then come all the way back down into that low squat. Good, little rock from side to side. And then bring that right knee down, left leg is stepping forward, coming into a low lunge. Bring the hands onto the thighs as you lean the weight forward, gently stretching into the right hip. I want you to also notice the inner thighs and I want you to gently draw them together. And what this does is it supports the pelvis to be nice and strong, which we need during pregnancy. We need opening, but we also need strength because too much opening can become a little bit painful. So I want you to just engage through those inner thighs as you also lean forward. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Good. And then bring the weight into that back knee as you reach the hands down to the ground. Lift the toes of that front foot up as we gently fold over this front leg. Let's add the breath here. So inhaling, lengthening, straightening out. And then exhaling and folding and rounding. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Bring the weight forward. This time you're going to roll onto the outer blade of this front foot. So it will probably mean you can lean forward a lot further. This is our lizard pose. I just want you to find a little bit of movement here, nice and gentle. Only if it feels good, of course. It's a feel good flow, which really just means listen to your body. Only move in the way that feels good for you. Good, and then bring the weight into that back knee. The front foot is gonna come across as we start to move into our pigeon pose. Stretch the back leg out. If this is too much for your hips, bolsters, blocks, pillows underneath this hip will help immensely. 
You can stay upright like this, or you can come down onto the forearms. You could bring a bolster or a pillow underneath the chest just to bring that floor a little bit closer. And we're just gonna sink here. Let the belly be soft. Once again, breathing into the belly, imagining your baby surrounded by this beautiful breath. And then on the exhale and soften, imagine the breath gently relaxing them. step all the way back knees nice and wide sit back towards the heels find your child's pose and just resting here barely soft Slowly coming back up. Right leg is stepping forward this time. We're using that thigh as a bit of an anchor. Leaning into our low lunge. Again, gripping through the inner thighs, drawing them in towards each other. back, hands ground, toes of the front foot lift up as you gently fold over. And then we add the breath, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, Maybe noticing that one side to the other feels different. For me, this side is definitely a lot tighter. And then shifting the body weight forward, rolling onto the outer blade, finding that lizard. Gentle rock and roll here. And then move into your pigeon, that foot comes across or tucks into the groin, which I find more comfortable. Stretch the back leg out, get any props you need under the hip, in front of the chest, and then softening in when you're ready. Once again, connecting with that breath. Visualizing your baby within your belly, receiving this breath on the inhale. And then softening and relaxing on the exhale. Good. Slowly release, hands come under shoulders. Stepping your way back, this time coming back to tabletop. Just taking a little rock from side to side. Yeah, I'm going to turn, but you don't need to. We're going to take the right leg out to the side. So outer blade of the foot presses down. Bring the hands out in front of you and just lengthen through the back. And then as you exhale, bring the forearms down. Just softening into the stretch, which should feel really nice through the inner thigh. Might even sit right back towards the heels if that feels good. Okay. 
walk the hands up, come back up onto the leg. I want you to reach down to the left side. So you don't have to touch the floor. You could bring the hand onto the hip if that feels better and then extend out through that top arm. So again, feel good in this flow. Find what works for you. If this doesn't feel good, come up a little more and just reduce the amount of side core work that you're having to do. If it feels good, you could reach a little further. We're all gonna feel different in our bodies today and that's okay. Good. And then I want you to reach down the leg. This one makes it a little bit easier because we've got that leg to balance on. Take the arm up and over. Good. Return the hands down in front of you. We're just going to swap the legs over. Oh, the leg comes out as a bit of a kickstand. Reach the hands forward, lengthen through the heart, and then soften on down. So keep pressing that outer blade of the foot to the floor. Relax through the head and neck. back up come back up into your high kneel reaching the hand down maybe finding the floor maybe just finding the hip other arm up and over and then all the way over the opposite side good breathing here Back through center, bring the hands back down. Let's use the hands on the mat to support you to come up into a wide leg forward fold. So all 10 feet are pointing in the one direction. Keep the hand, all 10 feet, all 10 toes are pointing in the one direction. Keep the hands underneath the shoulders for support. You can bend through the knees if you need here. Otherwise, just allow the upper body to soften. Gently lift the tailbone so you get that lengthening through the back of the legs. If this isn't enough of a stretch, you can fold further so the crown of the head comes down, but for many of us, this will be enough. Just breathing here, letting that belly be soft. Exhalation, bringing a softness over you and over your baby. Good, and then turning the toes out, using the hands, so we're gonna come up to a low squat or our goddess squat, which is absolutely what you are when you're pregnant. Uh, even though sometimes you may not feel like a goddess, I just want you to rock from side to side here. So this is a very good pose to practice in preparation for birth though. You're in your second trimester, you may not be thinking about that yet. And that's okay. There is still time. It's gently rocking from side to side. And we're just gonna do some little pulses. So inhale, press into the leg so we get strength. And exhale and we soften. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale down. One more of these, inhale and exhale, well done. Come nice and low in the legs, drop the left shoulder, look over the right shoulder. Back through centre, drop the right, look over the left. Back through centre, straighten up the legs. I want you to point the right toes straight the back foot is on a bit of a 90 degree angle. Let's take the arms out wide for our warrior. Bend into the front knee, beautiful. And let's again use the breath here. So inhale, straighten, exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten, 
Exhale, lower, let's add on. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, reverse. See if you can get into a little bit of a flow with your own breath. Inhale. I know this feels strong on the legs, but you are strong. And you need to be strong for birth. And it's a feel good flow. So if it doesn't feel good, you can ease up and not go so low. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten both legs because that feels nice. Reaching forward, we tip into our triangle, which feels beautiful on the legs after that little bit of strength in our warrior. Let your gaze soften, maybe even closing down the eyes. Breathing here. Good. And then straightening up, we're gonna turn all the toes in the opposite direction. So the left foot faces forward, the right is on that 90 degree angle. Inhale the arms, exhale to lower. Inhale, we're simply going to repeat what we did on the opposite side, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one here. Good. Straighten up both legs. Reaching forward, tipping into your triangle. And again. Softening the gaze, maybe closing the eyes. Good, coming all the way back up. Again, we're gonna take all 10 toes and point them forward. Bring the hands behind the back, squeeze the back together, shoulder blades rather, lift the chin to the ceiling and then slowly fold your way down. If this is too much, hands can come first to support you. Bring the head down, hands up, over the head, bend into the knees as much as you need. And then bring the hands to the ground as support as you slowly bring the feet back down. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall out to the side. Do a little bit of bouncing to start with. So some of our inner thighs will be really tight and our knees will be quite high. That's fine, we just do it a little bit higher. If your hips already open quite a lot, that's fine too, just let them fall to the ground. Let's all find some length through the spine. And if you're already getting a beautiful stretch through the inner thigh, just stay here. If you want a little more, lean forward. Good, sitting up. We're gonna look over the right shoulder. So we're gonna use the hand into that thigh as an anchor. Still sitting tall, so feel the sit bones pressing down. Good, let's change opposite side. Turning back to the front, take the left leg out 
leaning down that leg. So just reaching the hand down it to start with and then take the shoulder and draw it back so we're opening up through the chest here. Good. And then with this hip, gently draw it down so you're starting to get this stretch through the side body. Belly's nice and soft. If it feels good, you can start to send that top arm up and over, but you don't have to. You can just stay here if that's enough. Find what feels good, hey? Breathing here. Release the hand down. So coming back to a little bit of strength, pressing that right hand in. We're gonna press into that foot as well. We're just gonna lift up and over. Keep the breath flowing. Good, coming all the way back down. It's gonna swap the legs over. Simply repeating on the opposite side. So start reaching down the leg. Drawing the opposite hip down, opening up through the shoulder, maybe adding on the arm. Breathing here. Good. Returning the hand down, pressing into that foot, lifting up. come all the way down onto our backs now. I'm not going to be there for too long, so don't stress about lying flat on the back. We're going to be moving in and out of poses, so there's no risk of putting any pressure on that main vein that runs down the back side of the body. Because you're pregnant though, I do want you to use the hands to support you to get down, so that you're not asking your core to do too much. So just use the hands and then roll onto the back. Draw the knees in and then gently let them fall to one side. If it feels good, you can take the arms out wide, look away from the legs. So we're getting that gentle stretch through the spine. If you need a little more, you could straighten out the top leg and add some weight to it. And then I want you to take a deep breath in and sigh it out here. <sighs> Good. It feels nice just to let go. And then bring the knees back. Roll them all the way to the opposite side. Arms are wide again, looking away if you need, adding on. Big breath in here. Side out. <sighs> Draw the knees back in. We're coming into our Shavasana now. You can either lie on the back with the right side propped up a little bit. So putting a cushion underneath the hip just so that you're kind of more on the left side. There's not so much weight on that right side. If you really want to feel that pressure on your back, that can feel quite nice with that bit of propping up on the right side so that you don't hit that main vein. If you want to stay entirely safe and get yourself comfortable on the side you can so I like to use my arm as a bit of a pillow if you have pillows or cushions it can feel good to have them in between the knees so get as many props as you need to be comfortable here and then let the breathing become steady perhaps you imagine now your baby breathing in and out with you their little belly and chest rising and falling with yours. And feeling this wave of relaxation washing over both of you. Maybe 
let yourself sink and settle into this position and truly enjoying this rest this restoration that allows you to continue through the rest of your day while doing all the amazing things your body is doing and growing fingernails eyelashes growing an entire body from scratch it's pretty amazing we often don't take time to really embrace and feel gratitude for what our body does When you're ready, start to slowly blink the eyes back open. Maybe you want to stretch out in any way that feels good for you. And then slowly come on back up to have a seat. Just bring your hands to your belly and take a few deep breaths here with baby. Honoring your body for all that it does for you, for growing new life and for the miracle that that is. And then bring your hands to heart, bow down the head. It is always such an honor to share this practice with you. Thank you for sharing your time and practice with me today. Namaste. I hope that you enjoyed this class. If you would like to practice the other two classes in this second trimester series, I'll leave the links below for my online yoga circle. I can't wait to welcome you in over there. See you soon. Namaste.